Hey guys, um, we're just going to run over our um, quiz answers um, for our quiz from last week. So if you remember, we were talking about Nehemiah. So we're just going to go over the questions now and then I will give you the answers to them, okay? So question number one was, the king that Nehemiah served, where was he the king of? Where, where was he the king of? And the answer, answer, answer? The answer was, Persia. The answer was Persia. Question two. The city that Nehemiah was going to help, what was it called? And the answer is Jerusalem. He was going to help a city called Jerusalem. Number three. How was Nehemiah going to help? What was he going to do? And the answer is, he was going to help repair the city. He was going to help um, fix the city walls and to help build them up again. So he was going to help build up the walls. Question number four. Um, how did God help Nehemiah? Well, he helped him in, in a number of ways. So I'm looking three from you. Um, one was he made his hand strong. So he did. So he... Nehemiah prayed that his hands wouldn't get tired, so God made them strong. Um, he sent help, as in he sent um, people to help him, so that he wasn't doing it on his own. And thirdly, he protected him, um, and he sent people to tell Nehemiah about um, people were going to try and distract him, and people may have tried to hurt him, and um, so that he couldn't build those walls. So he sent people to help and to protect and made his hands strong. And number five, how was Nehemiah faithful? Well, Nehemiah was faithful in a, in a number of ways. And number one was he obeyed God. When God um, said that he was going to go and he was going to do this and he was going to help the city of Jerusalem, Nehemiah went um, and he trusted in God. And when he was there, he trusted that God would look after him, he would help him, and he would strengthen him. Um, and even though there were so many things going on, he never ever stopped believing, um, and stopped, never stopped having faith that God um, would provide, and God would um, help him complete his task. So that's how Nehemiah was faithful. I hope you've had fun um, learning about him, and um, I hope you guys are keeping well, and I can't wait to see you all again. Bye-bye. Good morning, Illuminators. It's lovely to be online with you again. So today is our last hero of faith, and it is Jesus. 
Jesus lived a perfect life. He was fully man and fully God. Yeah, God and man. You heard it right. Yeah, Jesus could be both. That might seem hmm, a little bit strange to us, but anything is possible with God. Remember? The Bible tells us that Jesus was God. Some people might think that that's like a little strange, that he wasn't able to be a person too, but he was. You see, we know that the Bible tells us that like any human, Jesus felt hungry, he felt thirsty, he felt sad, he felt happy. So the Bible shows us that Jesus was fully man and fully God. That means that he was able to live perfectly. He was able to perform the miracles and yet he knew what it meant to feel pain. Jesus can do the impossible. It just blows my mind. It really, really does. Jesus took on so much pain. He took on all that pain for us. He knew he was going to lose his life, but yet he had faith in God that God had a bigger plan. So therefore, he continued on and knew he was going to lose his life. Jesus didn't have to die. He was perfect. He lived a perfect life and he never deserved to die. Yet the Bible tells us that because of the wrong things that we've done, we needed a saviour, Jesus. We are not perfect. We've all done wrong things. That means that we all deserve to be separated from God because God is perfect. God can only be around and be friends with people that are perfect and holy. In fact, the Bible says that when we do wrong things, those wrong things mean that we deserve to die. We deserve eternity away from God. When I said we deserve to die, it's actually our connection with God that's died. You see, if we are not good and perfect for God, then the connection, our holiness connection with God is broken. It's separated. And, and that's because of all the bad things that we've done. And if we want to spend eternity in heaven with God and Jesus, then we need to fix that. But we can't do it. We needed someone to take our place. We needed someone to step in and help us. We couldn't save ourselves because we're not perfect. We needed Jesus. Jesus came and lived a perfect life and died a perfect death for us. He was the only one who could have done it because he was both man and God. He was the only one who could do it because he created us. He was there in the beginning. And so Jesus died so that we can be forgiven for the bad things that we've done and be brought back to God. Isn't that amazing? Like we do all the bad things and Jesus was perfect. And he saved us. He didn't deserve to die. He was, he was perfect, but he trusted. He was a true hero of faith. He trusted in God's plan, God's rescue plan. So if you believe that Jesus died on the cross for all, your, all the bad things that you've ever done and you want to ask for forgiveness, then there's a special prayer that you must do. And it means that we have that connection with God and that we get to spend eternity in heaven. We're going to do that prayer now. So everybody, if you wish to do that prayer, close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I know I have done bad things and I want to ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died on the cross for all the bad things that I have done and that you have rose again. I turn from my badness and invite you 
to come into my heart and my life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Saviour. Amen. Well done, guys, if you said those prayers. That is fantastic because you are now in a relationship with God. Obviously, you need to keep up your relationship with God by talking to him and praying to him and reading your Bible and keeping up to date and watching us here online. Okay, guys, we're going to have a quiz now. Great stuff. Hey, guys, it's now time for our quiz, so I hope you are listening. Okay, here we go. Listen up. Question number one. Who is Jesus? Question number two. Why did Jesus have to die for us? Question number three. When Jesus died on the cross, it went all dark. How many hours was it dark? Question number four. If we choose to follow Jesus, what happens? Question number five. Why is Jesus a hero of faith? All right, be sure to tune in next week to find out if you got your answers correct, which I'm sure you did. See you later. Hey guys, we've come to the end of Illuminate for another week, but that's okay because we're back next week. Woohoo! But before we go, let's pray. So everyone close your eyes and bow our heads. Thank you, Lord, for another amazing week. We had so much fun learning from you in your story, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all the worship. Thank you, Lord, for all the leaders that put in the time to do it. And thank you, Lord, for all the children and parents that are watching. Lord, I just pray, Lord, that you just help us have another lovely week. I just pray, Lord, that you bless us and keep us safe. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you all next week. Bye.